Engineering is the foundation of our modern economy, and that requires a lot of talented engineers. I am interested in solving healthcare problems. Um, I'm in interested in solving human mobility problems with engineering tools. So one example is kids with cerebral palsy. I work with them on a regular basis. We track them serially to basically quantify how much they're getting better. Are they getting better 10%, 20% after a procedure? We are able to provide this quantitative data to clinicians and the, and the parents. So a big push these days in my area of research is assistive devices or robotic exoskeletons. We work on a regular basis with, with people with spinal cord injury to rehabilitate them in exoskeletal devices and improve their mobility. With regard to athletics, um, I'm innately curious about sports performance. How fast can we move? How fast can we pitch a ball? We want to figure out the, the peak performance of, of humans and at the same time minimize injuries in these athletes. We have faculty here at NJIT doing research in a lot of very important areas. We know Earth's resources are finite. We know we have to find ways to preserve those resources, and we owe that to the next generation. My research looks at solving problems related to generating energy. And so I'm now looking at tuning metals towards this application. We're changing the macrostructure, how atoms arrange themselves on very tiny scales. When we're generating so much energy in a very short time scale, we're hoping that we can provide enough energy to provide fuels for rockets. So if you think about the satellites in space and being able to have materials or alloys that can resist that high temperature from the sun, or that can be mechanically sound under those conditions, that's one more thing that we're looking at. We can even tune them as catalysts to ensure that when we're generating energy using hydrocarbons, we're getting as much out of it as possible and only cleaner emissions. One area where we've seen enormous growth is in supply chain engineering. Even before the pandemic, e-commerce had already changed the face of retail. And this has led to a major focus on supply chain engineering and digital technologies as part of the solutions. Some people think supply chain is just a truck moving on a highway. But supply chains are pretty complex. They have a physical infrastructure, which includes both these transportation vehicles. They have warehouses. They have all kinds of material handling equipment moving them. Uh, then there is a gigantic information infrastructure. My focus is primarily on e-commerce supply chains. So I develop models of how to pick and get those orders ready so that it moves quickly into your order pipeline. Traditionally, almost all models only used historical data. Increasingly, in the new sort of business evolution, we are seeing people are also using futuristic data. To give them value, you need an algorithm to make some kind of a decision. Last year, I published a book, which is called Fast Fulfillment, the Machine That Changed Retailing. And it includes um, sort of simple tools which comes from our research. So in the supply chains, particularly in facilities where products are being repackaged or being moved around like warehouses, etc., the levels of automation are quite uh, phenomenal. But automation coupled with this intelligence driven by algorithms is becoming more and more widespread. So almost every problem facing society today is very, very complex. Collaboration amongst varying disciplines is key to finding the optimal and most sustainable solution. I currently collaborate within the department. We have metal combustion experts, distinguished professor Edward Drazen. We're working with the Army and the Navy. Being in the New York, New Jersey metropolitan area with a rich hub of biomedical innovation, hospitals, the Department of Veteran Affairs is integral to my success. Industry collaborations have also been very attractive. NGIT is located in this corridor, which is literally a supply chain hub. The airport, the port terminals, so all of those are big employers and they're looking for talent. The incredible research happening at NJIT is why we are ranked as one of the most research-intensive universities in the country. 
students who graduate from NGIT with an engineering degree or a STEM degree, it transforms their lives. That impacts multiple generations. And the research conducted at NGIT affects everyone daily. It drives economic growth and it really brings more comforts to living.